many of us here in Toronto and across the province have listened to every single morning when we woke up. And today we are so sad because we have to say goodbye to Aaron Davis from CHFI. <laughs> It's Thank really you. happening. And after all of these years, I mean, we know you from CHFI. If you live outside of the province, Erin Davis is the name. She is the name that people fought for her to come back to CHFI when you were gone for two years. People fought. The letters came in fast and furiously. 28 years at CHFI, but you've been in radio since you were 18 years old. Yes. Yes. Why are you leaving us now? Well, uh, and, and I say that it's, it's the hardest decision that I've had to make because stepping up away from something that you love yeah. is a very difficult thing. But sometimes you know that it is just time. And uh, my husband and I suffered a tremendous loss a year and a half ago. And uh, I, we took a month off after losing our daughter. And then I came back to work and I just thought, okay, you can do this. And now we've shown you can do this. But it's also taught us that there are just no guarantees in life. And this man who has shared me with everyone who would have me for, uh, for the last 30 years of our relationship, uh, he just says, you know what, I want my wife. Yes. And uh, well, careful what you wish for, because he's going <laughs> to get her. <laughs> so, uh, so we're going to do that. We're starting a new life and uh, maybe, maybe writing a new ending. Amazing. It's incredible because we've bonded quite a bit on Rob and Leo, both husbands that were able to step back from their careers and yeah. stay home and raise our babies, yes. which is, you know, the, the most incredible gift you can get is having a co-parent. Mm -hmm. We also all mourned with you, Thank you when one day Lauren just didn't wake up. Yes, it was, uh, it was just hours after she celebrated her first Mother's Day, uh, May 11th, 2015. She, uh, she got up to, to go and feed Colin and said, I love you, to her husband. And uh, the next thing, um, he tried to wake her up in the morning on the Monday, and she didn't wake up. And her heart just stopped. She was 24, healthy, happy, left a seven-month-old baby behind. And uh, we still don't know exactly what caused it. It, it could have had something to do with a, a prescription for, for breastfeeding. We don't know that, and we'll never know, unfortunately, because I'd love to be able to help people to figure things out like this. But uh, she's, uh, she's, she was just the, the most amazing person, and our one and only, our limited edition, we just didn't know how limited. So that's what happened with Lauren. And, uh, Phil and Colin are doing so well in Ottawa. They've moved forward with their lives. There's a new, uh, a, a new uh, uh, presence in, in uh, Phil and Colin's life and uh, uh, a woman who loves Colin. And we couldn't be more grateful for that. So life is going on. And we just thought, you know what, everybody else has had a chance to have a fresh beginning. And maybe yeah. we should, too. Sometimes things happen in life and they really put things into perspective. Yes. Uh, and you really start to feel that life is precious and limited and we are going to live. So you are going to go to Victoria. Yes. British Columbia. Yes. Uh, our viewers there will appreciate that. Oh, it's a beautiful part of the country. What, what are you going to do? Are you going to get up at 3.30 in the morning and just look at Rob? <laughs> yes. <laughs> are you gonna and then I'm going to go back to bed. Breakfast is available? Yeah. I really don't know, Tracy. We're going to keep doing something with uh, with Rogers Broadcasting. Uh, there, yeah. We have a microphone in our home, and Good. and uh, they're keeping me on in a in a very sort of a a, a, a long distance relationship. So we're going to do something. Yes. Um, I'm going to travel. Going to go see the Blue Jays in Seattle. Yes. Uh, woo! -hoo! And um, just to have have time with each other yes. really just and to kind of breathe just to take it all in and maybe do some proper morning I'm not sure or maybe we'll just uh, find a new way to, to hopefully be a little bit inspiring to other people who've been through this because so many people have you yes. learn boy is it a big club it is a big Absolutely. club. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have been inspiring, though, because Thank as a you. mom, I've watched you power through. <laughs> and I know that inside, you, like, there's no recovery. You cope. Yeah. You know, and you hope that the hole gets smaller and smaller every day. Mm -hmm. And so I give you incredible props for that. Thank you, Everything Tracy. you've done as a woman in this industry, you know, speaks directly to me. Mm -hmm. Everything you've done as a mom and a parent, I admire and respect. So we 
regretfully say goodbye, mm -hmm. but we will follow your blog, uh, which you've been writing for years now, before blogs were a thing. You were right. writing a blog, your journal. Jan Arden actually uh, was my inspiration, and so I thought, I'm going to try this. 2003 it started yeah. uh, at AaronDavis.com. And, uh, and I'm still doing it, and I will continue doing it. Yes. Uh, like Rob says, really, you're, you're going to keep, yes, and I'm still on yes. Twitter, I'm still doing that, and I may even expand Facebook. I can't quit you. Yeah. <laughs> Good. We don't want you to, so Thank we know you. your every move. So let's give her a, a beautiful city line goodbye.